this video, I will show you how to install the Python package Fluss Tools in an Anaconda environment or a Conda environment on Windows. So obviously the very first thing that you need for that is Anaconda. So visit here anaconda.org. So I zoomed here a little bit in so that you can see the address. Then go to download Anaconda and you will be forwarded to the download website. So I'm here on Windows, so I'm going to download here the Windows version. It will go here into my downloads folder. So while I, that is downloading, maybe just some words on what is Fluss Tools and why you may want to use it. So Fluss Tools includes a lot of scientific Python libraries like uh, NumPy or Pandas or Scikit-Image or Scikit-Learn. And when I say includes, I want to say rather it depends on them, so it requires them and will install them for you alongside. If you're working on Windows, you will probably prefer to use Anaconda over a virtual environment because it also includes or depends on GDAL. And GDAL is an open source uh, library for processing geospatial data sets in Python. And that's a little bit tricky if you try to install that with a virtual environment on Windows. So now the download is finished. I can install now here Anaconda and that guides me through the installation process. So here I need to read now the license agreement that I did thoroughly before. I can agree to that. I will only install it for me. Don't install it for all users because then you need admin privileges and that also requires then admin privileges every time you want to install another package to your Anaconda environment or if you want to create an Anaconda environment. So just install it for you. I will just accept you the default, so that will def install Anaconda in my user folder. Um, I will also stick here with the defaults and will say register Anaconda 3 as my default, Python 3.9. Now it installs. And while that is installing, you can already have a look at what we will need now for installing Fluss Tools afterwards. So for that purpose, I invite you to visit hydroinformatics.com. So that is our teaching platform here. You can go here to the software resources section. There you will find a chapter on the installation of Python. And because we're here on Windows, you want to select the Conda Env as a Windows preference. And we will follow basically these seven steps here. The first step here is to download the Fluss environment. So that is an Anaconda environment file that we will need to download. And as I indicated here, right click on the environment file, um, choose save link as. I will save it here in my downloads folder. So that is downloaded. Let's have a look at what the installation does. It is still waiting. Good. So now, in the meanwhile, the environment.yaml is now living here in my in, uh, downloads folder. A couple of minutes later, the installation is completed. The application cache is set up and I can click here on next. Um, now I can option also download PyCharm, if that is your favorite IDE, go for it. Um, otherwise, I will use Atom. Um, I do not want to see these tutorials here, so I'm going to uh, uncheck these boxes. Maybe you want to see them. In that case, you do not want to uncheck these boxes. Awesome. Now I can have uh, Anaconda installed here, and I can launch now the Anaconda prompt. That is what I want. That will open here that little black box and you see here there's something written in parentheses that is base. So that base here refers 
just increasing a little bit the size of that so that you can have a better that you have a better view in the video. Um, that base here refers to the base environment. What we will do now is we will create a new environment here and that will, we will do that with the environment YAML that we just downloaded. So that is this file here. Let's just have a look at what that here is. So that here will install an environment that is called flussenv. So that is going to be the name of the new environment. It's going to use here for channels to install a couple of um, packages on which uh, Fluss tools depend. Among those is GDAL and, as I mentioned before, NumPy and Pandas. Good. How do we install now that environment YAML or how do we create that environment? You find detailed instructions for that here on the Hydroinformatics website. So we downloaded already here the environment YAML. Now we opened Anaconda prompt. Now we need to go to the directory where our environment YAML lives. So we do that in Windows or in Linux also with um, CD, meaning C, uh, change directory, um, just to be sure. So we're here to go to the downloads folder where I download it in here. If you're not sure the folder exists where you are, you can just type the first couple of letters, use your tab key and um, complete it. If we're here, um, if it exists, we can just hit enter and we are in the downloads directory. Now let's check if our environment file is really in that uh, folder. Let's type here dir for that, dir, and you will see here a list of files that are in, these, uh, in this downloads uh, directory. And you see here that is the Anaconda 3 installation and file, the executable that we just installed, and the environment YAML. So yes, we are in the correct directory. Now let's install the uh, environment file here by copying the link uh, sorry, link the command here that will create the um, flus env. So we will type here conda env create minus f environment.yaml. You can also type that manually. Um, if you paste it, just press your shift and insert key on your keyboard, and that will insert um, that copied command. Now we hit enter and um, Anaconda is going to start here to create the environment. That can take a couple of minutes. If Anaconda could find all required packages, it will continue, install all of them. If you get here an error message like uh, your system ran out of space, um, that can happen if you're working on an older computer. Uh, the reason is that a conda environment can uh, easily make up to a couple of gigabytes in space. You see here the sizes of the packages that it's downloading here. That package is um, 181.9 megabytes, so that can take a while to install and will also um, put some data on your disk. So make sure that you have enough disk space, otherwise um, the installation will fail. Finally, it's done. The installation is complete. It will tell you here that the uh, transactions are prepared, that the transactions are verified, and the transactions are executed. And it will also tell you how you can activate now um, FlussEnv or the Fluss environment. So recall that here is the name of the environment um, given in the environment.yaml file. The next thing we need to do is, if we recall here the uh, steps here on the Hydroinformatics website, um, we need to activate now the environment and then we can install FlussTools. So let's follow here the instructions also given after the installation with conda activate flussenv. Now we are in flussenv and you see that change now from base to FlussEnv. Now we can install Fluss tools with pip install Fluss tools
and we'll download our uh, Flux tools and install Flux tools from Pipe. Why is it important that we first need to uh, that we first create the environment? Um, well, in that environment, there are the GDAL dependencies, and the GDAL dependencies can um, not be automatically resolved uh, by Anaconda if we do not type that uh, step by step. So, just installing Flux tools without uh, creating the environment and its requirements first will probably fail. But let's check if our installed version of Flux tools works. So, for doing that, we will type here Python. Now we are in Python, and it tells us we are in Python 3.10. That is now in our Flux environment here. And let's try if we can import uh, Flux tools. So type Flux tools. Maybe it's FT, as that is shorter to write later. That may take a while if you have a slow computer or if you're importing for the first time and you have matplotlib and other packages uh, newly installed but that works so Flux tools is installed and we can access it now so to try if Flux tools really works as we want it let's just try to call something that is in it so for example it has a nan not a number value that it will use for raster pixels and geospatial data sets and we can call it by typing here ft.nan-or underscore value and that returns us its nan value so everything works all right you're ready to work now with the flus env and flus tools in your favorite id if you want to learn more about flus tools and what you have um, as functions available in that package. I invite you to visit our documentation on readthedoc.docs.io. So that's flustools.readthedocs.io. Um, you will find here documentation about uh, geospatial functions. So for example, um, example code blocks, but also every function that is in here. So if you want to convert a float raster to an integer raster you will find that here if you want to convert a raster to a line um, a raster to a polygon so all these functions that are in those tools are documented here on readthedocs.io um, the creation of these functions are also featured on hydroinformatics.com um, in the tutorials for learning uh, geospatial python thanks for watching and have a great experience